the Yolo Box Ultra and the Mevo Core paired together for streaming baseball games. I'm Jason Hoffman. My goal is to help you have the confidence to just press go live. The Yolo Box Ultra is a high quality device designed to both record and stream at the highest level. It's capable of streaming and recording at 4K. All you need for the Yolo Box Ultra to excel is to have available to it some really good cameras because you can run HDMI in, you can run USB in, you can run NDI in, and so enter the Mevo Core because it is a very high quality camera. With its interchangeable lenses and its ability to record in 4K, then we've kind of got a match made in heaven for our baseball streaming. And so last week I was able to take this combination to my local field and stream my local high school baseball team. My setup included the Yellow Box Ultra as my control device. Now this Ultra is going to give me streaming, encoding, uh, touch screen switching, uh, like we said, HDMI in, USB in, if we want it, NDI connectivity as well. It has an Ethernet jack. It has Wi-Fi built in. It has an SD, uh, excuse me, it has a SIM card built in. So all the connectivity we might need. Yellowbox actually offers a bonding service that you can subscribe to in addition to what they provide just out of the box. And so there's a lot going on there. And then you pair that with a Mevo Core that has the best quality of a live streaming camera that I've seen so far. And we have the potential to have an incredibly well done live stream for our local baseball team. I'm going to walk you through a couple of the shots that I set up, but I do have to make this one disclaimer. I really didn't want to admit this, but I'm going to have to do it anyway. So as I connected everything, I forgot to put the Yolo box in 4K. And so as I brought in my cameras, I brought them in at 1080. So any crops that I did cropped in from 1080, which degraded the picture. I really wanted to redo that and get you the best quality shots I could so I could show you really what the full potential was. But it rained constantly over the next several days for the next couple of games. And so I haven't had a chance to. But you need to see what this what this pairing was able to do because you'll, you'll be able to recognize the quality that it is. So from behind the plate, you're going to be able to catch just about the entire field, foul pole to foul pole, from the depth of our backstop. Now I recognize that we do have quite a deep foul territory behind the plate, and not everybody does. On a smaller field, especially a, a field for younger kids, you're not gonna have this luxury, but you can choose a different lens. This lens is the Olympus 1442 EZ. It is one of the lenses that is recommended on the Mevo help page for the Mevo Core. And I have found that it is a great all around lens. It's what I'm using now. It's what I used last night for the Streamology podcast. It's what I use oftentimes when I'm setting up behind the plate because I do have that depth behind home plate to the backstop. And so I can get all that I want for the infield. As I'm zoomed all the way out here, you can see that I have all that I want side to side from first to third. I don't worry so much about foul pole to foul pole when I'm setting up because, well, what's in the outfield is so small from here. I'm going to set up a different shot if I'm going to try to get outfield shots. Now, I will show you a comparison shot of a game that I did previously also with the Mevo Core. And that shot, I went ahead and zoomed in, optically zoomed in instead of cropping the shot in just so that I could have the best possible picture for that pitcher to batter exchange because that's the bulk of my stream. So much of the action happens right there and that's where I want to keep the best possible shot. So this is what that looks like. This is a very high quality shot. As a matter of fact, as soon as I started streaming that video, people began commenting, that's a much better shot than what you had last year. What camera are you using? That was a little bit before the Mevo Core was released, so I couldn't tell them yet. However, I can tell you now, that shot was the Mevo Core. When I set up this past week, 
I went ahead and left it zoomed all the way out with this Olympus 1442 so you could see just how wide that shot is. As a matter of fact, I had a hard time keeping the fence out of it. That chain link uh, just kind of crept in on me. And so I went ahead and cropped in in the, um, in the Yolo Box Ultra with one of my additional shots from this input. And I like doing that because they're just available to me on the tap. I'm not having to go into a menu. I'm not having to find that shot and zoom it in. I just tap from the zoomed out shot to the cropped in shot. And even though it's a little bit less quality, it gives me that next shot that I'm looking for. I can do that with first base or third base as well. And so they're all right there on the screen. And it makes a really quick transition when action moves around the infield. Another of the shots that I set up was with the Panasonic 45-175 lens, also recommended on the Mevo help page for the Mevo Core. And that gives me the across the diamond shot. This one was set up on top of the third base dugout and I shot across to a first base shot. Now I left this shot most of the time set up with both the pitcher and first base in view. I like that shot. I can use it for the pitcher in windup. I can use it when there's action on first base because there's a lot of throwovers in high school baseball. And so I get all of that whenever that's happening over there on first base. And it is a beautiful optically zoomed picture that I think you can appreciate just by the look of it here. The side shot on top of third base was run in via HDMI. So I have the full quality, if I want it, from Mevo Core to Yolo Box Ultra with the HDMI cable running there. NDI from behind the home plate, HDMI from on top of third base, and I've got a fantastic setup of all the things that might happen on the infield. If I want to use my panning device and mount my core on top of it, then I can also pan over, catch scoreboard shots in between innings. So my first attempt using the Yolo Box Ultra and the Mevo Core as a tandem for live streaming baseball proved to me it's a very capable pairing. I can't wait to get another game this next week so that I can, in fact, go ahead and do 4K recording. And if I have enough upload speed, I'll do the streaming in 4K as well. But You'll get to see that as well. I'll send some shots out. I'll upload those uh, just so that folks can have an idea of what this little duo is capable of.